Hey fellow crafters, a couple of weekends ago about 80 Stampin' Up! demonstrators got together for a day of creative fun. We swapped card and 3D project ideas. Some demonstrators did table displays where they featured a variety of projects that you could make using a certain bundle out of the new annual catalog. And we did three beautiful make and take projects. The best part of the whole day though was making new friends. I've already been in touch with some of my new friends and I can't wait until we can stamp together soon. For today's video, I would like to show you one of the make and take ideas. It's a fun fold card idea using the Sending Smiles bundle. I hope you'll like this idea. Hey everyone, I'm Terry from nutsaboutstamping.com. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I'd love for you to choose me. I'll link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, let's get started on this beautiful fun fold card. This was my first bundle on my pre-order from the new annual catalog. I love the Sending Smile stamp set because it has 13 images with nine versatile sentiments, which means that this set with its matching dies would be perfect for so many occasions like brightening someone's day, offering comfort and strength, maybe sending a note of thanks, or sending some happy birthday wishes. Whatever the occasion, you can create beautiful cards with this bundle. You can mix and match the images to make simple or complex cards. You can also use them for backgrounds, borders, and centerpieces a great value for your dollar. So what I want to do is start off with some of these images. I'm going to stamp them, then I'm going to die cut them, and we're going to use them as elements on the front of our fun fold card. My colors I've chosen are Sweet Sorbet and Parakeet Party. These are two of the new in colors, and then Good Old Daffodil Delight. So I think these three colors together are a perfect combination for a bright, and cheery, maybe a spring or a summer card idea. I'm going to start off by stamping the sending phrase from the stamp set using my Sweet Sorbet ink. Love, love, love this color. I think it's gonna blend beautifully with a lot of other Stampin' Up! colors, not just the in colors. Now, what's really cool about the die pack is that you can die cut out this word so that you can use it as an element on your card, which is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set that aside though. The next thing I wanna do is bring in another piece of basic white, it's a scrap piece, and I've got this flower image from the stamp set. It's kind of like a half flower. And then there is a center for that flower in the stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it down using Daffodil Delight. And guess what? There's a die to go with that. Here it is here. Put it that way. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is bring in another scrap piece of basic white. And I have this flower image here. And I'm going to again use the same color. Stamp it down. And guess what? There is a flower center for that one as well. So I'm going to stamp that in Daffodil Delight like so. And yes, there is a die for that as well. Now, what I want to do is now use my Parakeet Party color, and I want to stamp some stems, flower stems. I've got this long one and another piece of basic white. The stamp set is perfect for using up all of your scraps as well. I have another piece of basic white, and I've got this stem. I'm gonna ink that up and stamp that down. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I think I've got everything I need, so I am going to stop the video, and I'm going to die cut all of these out. 
I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like. And then we'll go ahead, after we've got these elements die cut and ready to go, we'll go ahead and make the fun fold and add a special touch to it. Back in a moment. There we go. I've got the elements die cut out. That's what they look like. And so now let's make the fun fold. To create my card base, I've decided I'm going to use basic white. So I have this piece ready to go and I'm gonna lay it down on my Simply Scored and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter and then I'm going to score it at eight and a half. That's four and a quarter and eight and a half. So I'm done with my Simply Scored. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this piece this way and this card this way. So it's kind of like, mm, is that a, a Z fold or a Z fold, depending on where you come from in the world? So my card layout is going to be like this. This is going to be the front, and this fun fold will come over top of the card front. What I want to do though, is I want to take this card front piece and I want to emboss it and that will add a really cool touch to it. You'll see that in a minute. I decided to use my time-worn type embossing folder because I really like the antique look and how when you use this folder, it adds sort of an age detail and texture to your project. So you can use this folder for layering pieces to add dimension to your cards and scrapbook layouts, or you can use it like we're going to on this project by embossing the front of the card. So I'll go ahead, I'll stop the video, I'll go ahead and emboss it, and then we'll finish off this fun fold card. There we go, I hope you can see it in the video. I love this folder, I just think it's so super cool. So what I want to do now is I have these elements that I've created for the front of the card, and what I want to do is I want to put the flowers on the fun fold flap and I'm going to arrange them like so, keeping in mind that I want my flowers, my flower tops to be able to fit like that. And then I want to use this sending as a piece that connects the flap to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my multi-purpose liquid glue and my silicone sheet and I'm going to attach these flowers and then I'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to finish off the card. There we go, I have my flower pieces attached to the flap of the card and the only thing that we have left is the sending word. Now, I don't wanna glue it down flat because then we won't be able to open up the card and see whatever you want to put on the inside. So. I put two mini Stampin' Dimensionals on the S and the D, and what I want to do is add the phrase like so. And then the person that gets the card will open it up like so and see the rest of the phrase to go along with the sending. So keep in mind, let me bring in so sending can go with any one of the phrases. So I'm not going to finish off the inside of my card until I know who's going to be the person that receives it. But you can go ahead and you can add any additional elements you want on the inside of the card and perhaps choose one of the remaining phrases in the stamp set to finish it off. Now we need to talk embellishments. There are so many choices for embellishments, but I think what I'm going to do is take some of these leftover in-color jewels, and there's these yellowy kind of jewels, and I think it would be really pretty to add maybe three of these to my card, just to pull together the color palette that I've chosen. I'll put one down here, like so. Hopefully you can see that. And then, who can resist with flowers? We have to add a brushed brass butterfly. And there we go. We have a beautiful and very simple fun fold card idea using the Sending Smiles bundle 
and the time-worn type embossing folder. If you would like a complete listing of supplies and measurements for all of the bits and pieces that I use to make this card, I'll link to my blog post underneath this video in the description box. You can link over to my blog post and you can get all the details, including ordering numbers, in case you would like to place an order to make this card at home. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I hope you'll try this unique fun fold card idea someday soon. Bye for now.